Welcome to Soccer Gaming, and in this episode, we are going over the fastest way of getting weapon smithing to the max level of 200. I'm also going to break down all the way down to what you need to get as far as iron ingots, timber, coarse leather, everything that you will need, down to the number that you will need to get it to be able to hit this 200. Before we get this one started, I wanted to let you know this is after patch 1.1.1. So if this should be good from now on until they release another patch or something like that that has different XP values. If at any point you enjoy this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also feel free to hit that red subscribe button because we will have plenty more new world content coming out very soon. So let's get this one started. So the first thing about weapon smithing is you're going to want to do this if you want any of the weapons in here. Uh, you're going to want to be able to get your weapon smithing up. So basically, you want to get to level 200 so that you can build the best of the best. So you can bid, build some of these things down here. Or you could build things along the way if you want some more calcum repairs or something like that. You could build at 150. However, uh, the higher your level is, the better chance you will have at building something better so i, I want to let you know that it's not going to be easy it's going to take a lot of time a lot of effort to try to get all the way up in weapon smithing but i want to start by telling you that if you do any of the quests or anything like that make sure you're knocking these out because if you get them from the town board these can get you a ton of uh weapon xp or weapon smithing xp as you can tell on this one 612 for this one just for some iron ore uh greenwood and rawhide something you could literally go out and get in about five minutes um you could go ahead and knock this out and get extra in these and come back and be able to build some of the weapons along the way so you always want to keep in mind that you want to be able to build anything anywhere so like a forge tier 5 you're going to be able to build anything all the way up till 200 but if you're not at a tier 5 make sure whatever you're building um, that tier covers it otherwise you will not be able to make them so as always we're going to break this up into sections level 1 through 50 51 through 100 101 through 150 and then 151 through the 200 so we're going to start off with the level one and as i said knock the recipes from the quest if you can if you got them from the board make sure you get them from the board come over here and knock out as many of the, as many of those as you can um, the same thing that happened with armoring. I did it with weapon smithing. I didn't touch anything in weapon smithing until now and I'm in level 91. So I'm a level 91 without ever building a single melee weapon or anything just because I knocked out these re recipes from quests and town boards. I got it up with just building those. However, if you are starting at level one and you want to go from level one to level 50, the fastest way and cheapest way of doing this is going to be doing the ironed round shield. So to break this down even farther into stats and seeing how we do this, basically what you do is you can go down and take the number of materials, which here is 10. You're going to break that down into the weapon smithing of 120. So you take 120 divided by 10 and you get 12. So at tier, uh, at this tier, you're going to get about 12 uh, XP per resource that you use. So for every iron ingot that you make, you're getting 12 XP. And so all of this together, you're getting 120 XP. You might be wondering, well, why don't I use these as well? And the reason I said the round shield, I mean, you could do any of these really. Um, just make sure that the weapon smithing's on. These are all 120. So you can pretty much do any of these that you want. So I'm just, you can pick whatever one you want. Easy as that. And then as soon as you have the resources, which is going to cost you some timber, some coarse leather, and then the uh, melted down iron ingots. Once you get those, you're going to need about 112 made from this. You're going to need about 784 iron ingots, 224 timber, and 112 coarse leather and doing this you're going to gain 120 weapon smithing xp per craft and it's going to cost you about 28 in tax it might cost you a little more a little less around 28 gold will be able to build it all the way to level 50. so that being said at 50 we're going to be upgrading 
to the steel category now the steel category gets a little difficult because again you got to take your iron ore like what we were using in this you got to upgrade it to steel to get the steel ingots and then again here you can do timber and coarse leather to make it nice and easy and as you can see here we're up to 11 so you're taking the 495 divided by 11 that's going to get your xp per resource built now there's a couple different ones that i would say you can use um this is where it's going to get kind of difficult with the steel now the steel obviously you're going to need the iron ingots you're going to need charcoal to be able to upgrade it to steel and then you're going to need some sort of flux to be able to upgrade it to the steel as well basically what you're doing is you're going to know need to go out and get iron you're going to need to go out and get wood not only for the timber but to use it for the charcoal and then you're going to need flux whether it's normal flux um the upgraded flux obsidian flux whatever it is um you'll also need that as well to get to the steel portion now you might be asking yourself, well why not stay with the iron you can but it will take you longer and it will actually cost you more iron in the long run so it's kind of like well you could do that however you're going to spend a lot more time out trying to get iron to do so so from level 50 to level 100 we're going to have a, a couple of new things that we can build here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the steel and as i said before steel you're going to have a ton of stuff that you need to be able to uh craft in order to make the steel but once you got the steel there's d two different options depending on how much steel you or how much iron you end up wanting to spend compared to how much you want um, for crafting taxes and all that good stuff my choice is iron and steel are kind of easy for me to get i'd rather spend less iron and more timber um, and more coarse leather than spending more on the iron less on the timber less on the coarse leather What I would do at this point is I'm gonna make 314 steel round shields So this is what I'm gonna make at 495 weapon XP per thing You can do the steel kite, which is gonna give you 540 but again, it's gonna cost you more iron um, and more steel and it's gonna cost you less timber less coarse coarse leather but i would rather spend more on the timber and more on the coarse leather than spending more on the iron ingots and steel ingots and charcoal and obsidian flux or whatever flux you want to use so my choice is to do the steel round shield and again you make about 314 of this of these at 495 xp and you're going to spend about 335 uh, coins in taxes give or take a few so that's what it's going to cost to get up to level 100. So this is where the next step gets a little, a little crazy. So um, I'm going to try to break this down into two separate things because I think there's a good thing you could do here. And I also think there's an upgraded version that you can do here. So we're at a level 100. We want to go to a level 150. How we're going to get there we're going to need a ton of resources a ton of flux a ton of charcoal everything so this is going to be very tedious to try to get this up however we need a ton of it and one thing you could do is you could decide to do the steel round shield again and roll with the timber the steel ingots however to do all this you're going to need about 2215 of these made so breaking that down you're going to need about 29,000 30,000 ish um iron ingots you're going to need about 20,000 charcoal you're going to need about 10,000 flux as well with the 4,000 timber and 2,215 coarse leather you can decide to do it that way or you can upgrade and do the star metal ones and get more xp however again gonna be a little bit more expensive to do the star metal ones but you could do the star metal round shield here and do it pretty quickly um, you could also do the great axe if you're actually wanting to use these or sell these feel free to use those as well basically broke down you're getting the same amount of xp no matter what you make so the great axe uh the round shield the war hammer and i believe the kite shield are the only ones that you're going to get correct weapon xp for what you're making so the next two are going to be broken down a little bit 
Um, we're going to go from 150 to about 170, break that down, get that chunk, and then we're going to go 170 to 200. And the reason I want to do that is because the numbers are so astronomical that it is going to be crazy to do because they upped these, they basically made it times two or more in this update. So these are going to be so much harder to do than they were a week ago before update 1.1.1. So I'm going to break it down. We're going to go from 150 to 170 first. And in order to do that, we got the round shield again, the kite shield, the warhammer, the great axe, or the tower shield. But those are going to be from the or calcum pack here. So once we get to 150, we could do the or calcum stuff and be able to kind of build whatever you want there. My suggestion, if you're going to use them again, like if you're going to use an or calcum great axe, then make it and use it. It could be good for you. It could be something you could use. And if you're good with it, if you enjoy it, then why not use it? So if we do the Orcalcum Great Axe, you're gonna need about 148 of them built. At this point, you're needing a Forge Tier 5. So right now I'm at a Forge Tier 5. If you're not, you're gonna need to find one. And you're gonna need about 2,220 Orcalcum ingots. You're gonna need about 444 timber. And you're going to need about 296 coarse leather. But again, to make these or calcum ingots, you're going to need a lot of the expensive stuff like the flux, like charcoal, all of that good stuff built into this just to get to the or calcum ingot. And then you got to use the or calcum ingot um, in order to get the timber and the coarse leather. Once you get all that, you're going to get build it and you're going to get about 10,080 weapon smithing XP per one. So again, 148. You're looking at about 1.5 million XP just getting from level 150 to 170. So now that we've got those built, this is where it gets a little crazy again. And this is where I would suggest building what you need moving forward because you're going to spend a ton of, of money. You're going to spend a ton of, of everything building these last 30 levels. So. Now that we're at 170, let's get all the way to 200 and we're going to do the or calcum stuff again, but it's just going to be so much more. But if you like to use the great axe, if you like to use long sword, anything that is weapon smithing XP, go ahead and build them and use them because uh, their gear scores can get pretty darn high. And a lot of the great ones uh, that I see people run, they are just the or calcum ones built in with the attributes the perks, the gems, everything they need to make it exactly what they want. So you might be asking yourself, well, how many Orc Alchem ingots are we going to need? The answer is 6,135. You're going to make about 409 um, Orc Alchem Great Axes. Uh, long Swords, you're going to have to make 629. The Rip here is 629. Tower Shields, 511. Um, the round shields are 629. So the Warhammer, Great Axe, uh, both 409 need to be built. Going to cost you 6,135 Orcalcum ingots, which again is charcoal and uh, flux. Then you're going to need about 1,227 timber and 818 coarse leather along the way at 10,080. And that's going to net you about 4.1 million xp so from levels 150 to 200 you're looking at like 6 million xp so it's a lot it could get, it could be done but they made it a lot more than it used to be so if you're after again patch 1.1.1 these are the xps that we're gonna have to try to get in order to get you to level 200 if you have any questions feel free to comment them down below i pretty much answer everything that is in the comment section. So any questions are welcome. Feel free to drop them down below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also feel free to hit that red subscribe button because we're doing a plenty of new world content very soon. Till next time, Slacker out.